Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have from Metric, Formentera 2. The odd thing about 2022's Formentera from Metric is that while I considered it one of their more adventurous albums and how it swerved into alternative dance and more extended compositions, it was an experiment that paid kind of mixed rewards from their already rock-solid formula, especially given how Art of Doubt was such a powerful return to form. I still think Formentera is great, but a little lesser. So seeing a sequel or sister album just a year later had me wondering how they could push that experimentation, but calling this a sister album is a bit of a misnomer, because while thematically the arc somewhat continues, the electronic elements have picked up a very different timbre. Also, this is nowhere near as good to a frankly alarming extent across the board. Even with Metric's high floor of quality that will ensure at least Joshua Winstead's bass lines and most of the chunkier guitar grooves are pretty damn solid. But the synth textures this time are this oily, quasi-psychedelic mass that flattens a lot of the album, and with slower temperatures tempos and as many program beats, the extended track lengths really began to test my patience. It's shorter than Formentera, but actually feels longer, and that is not a good sign, especially when the melodic hooks are just not as sticky. Then there's the production around Emily Haynes' voice. Metric's always been pretty good at leveraging electronic effects around her unique vocal tone and energy, but the mixing is really off this time. These compressed, tinny, higher frequencies are left in that clash with an ugly way with the goopier sense, the vocal production actively gave me a headache with every single repeated listen, and that's a really bad sign. Then there's the content, and I will give Metric credit because this thematic arc does make sense. If the first form in Terra was set up post-lockdown as leveraging a lot of frustration, seeking escape, this was the album that, having found a lot of that escape, then realizes that you can't exactly get away from all these bad systems around you worldwide that have you feel feeling even smaller, especially when paired with something of a career reckoning as the band's getting older and things have not felt like they have gotten better with time. And then Metric follows into what could feel like a natural conclusion, in what I would frame as optimistic nihilism, where it takes all that existential confusion and a realization that, in the grand scheme of the larger universe, so much of this just does not matter, so why waste time wallowing in panic and misery? You need to find an escape. That freedom can be a relief, especially in art. It's a theme that, for older, socially conscious punks like Metric, it makes a lot of sense, but when you combine it with the momentum just tanking on the back half, and the writing feeling weirdly clunky, the lack of tension really kills the project. Compared to how nervy and explosive the first form in Terra was, this is just deflating. Now yes, there are some really good moments. Who Would You Be For Me? It's a good self-conscious reflection of Metric's early years. I like the balance of the sleaze on Just This Once, especially juxtaposed with aging. And overall, this is not a bad listen, but I am going to say it's a much weaker sequel, it's tougher to recommend, and I'm going to call it a disappointment. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more reviews, please be sure to like, share, drop some comments, and subscribe, especially for longtime Metric fans. I'm curious where y'all are going to fall on this, because it might be a little contentious how harsh I'm otherwise being, because again, I really want to like this. And if you want to get projects on my schedule, link to my Patreon is right over there. As always, I'm Mark. You're watching Spectrum Pulse. I'll see you next time.